Here's what we know about the new viral disease spreading in Alaska, especially after an elderly man from Alaska has become the first person to die after contracting this recently discovered viral illness known as Alaska pox, also known as AKPV. So Alaska pox is a double-stranded DNA virus, and it's a zoonotic disease that's been spreading across various animals in Alaska with occasional transmission to humans. This virus belongs to the orthopox virus family of viruses. And yes, it's a cousin of the other famous pox viruses like smallpox, monkeypox, cowpox, and all the other poxes. This virus was actually first discovered in 2015 in a woman who lived near Fairbanks, Alaska. She initially presented with a localized rash and swollen lymph nodes. This virus has been mainly found in small mammals, including red-backed voles and shrews, but household pets can also carry it. Over the last nine years, there have been seven people who've been infected with it, all of them being in Alaska. Now, the most recent known case was an elderly man from Kenai Peninsula. Health officials say that he was immunosuppressed after undergoing cancer treatment in the hospital, when he eventually died in late January. It wasn't really clear how he got the infection, though. Reportedly, uh, he was caring for a stray cat at his home, and that cat scratched him, so presumably that's how it was transmitted. He initially spotted a red bump in his armpit, and this was back in September, and he was given antibiotics for that. They thought it was a bacterial infection, but his symptoms worsened with increased pain in his shoulder area, and he also had fatigue. He was then transferred to a hospital in Anchorage, where he later developed pox-like lesions. He ended up getting a whole bunch of tests. One of those tests was a test for cowpox, which turned out to be positive. It gave a positive result. He initially improved in the first week of treatment with IV therapy, but ended up suffering from delayed wound healing with eventual kidney failure and eventual respiratory failure, and then that led to his subsequent death in January. Health officials believe it spread through contact with infected animals, and there's actually not been any documented cases of it spreading from one person to another. So no human-to-human -human transmission that's known of. With that said, we know that other pox viruses can spread when one person comes in contact with another person's lesions, just like monkeypox. So Alaska health officials are advising anyone with an Alaska pox lesion to cover it with, um, with a bandage or something to prevent it from leaking into the open air and getting onto other people's skin. What are the symptoms? Look for a bump or multiple bumps or pustules on the skin, as well as joint or muscle aches and swollen lymph nodes. Most patients have mild illness um, that after a few weeks, it'll end up being resolved on its own without any need for any specific treatment. Will this spread to areas outside of Alaska? Certainly it's a possibility, but so far it doesn't seem to spread like monkeypox was spreading when it initially had that outbreak. According to the Alaska Division of Public Health, they said, while animal trapping studies have confirmed the presence of the virus in small mammals, it's likely that the virus is present more broadly in Alaska's small mammals and that more infections in humans have occurred but were not identified. So more animal testing is occurring to better understand the distribution of the virus in animal populations throughout Alaska. So it's probably spreading slowly under the radar. Now the best ways to keep your loved ones safe, including pets, is to wash your hands after being outdoors and avoid keeping wildlife as pets. Also, skin lesions should be covered, kept dry, and not be touched.